I finally got another full stop dry software update and today we're gonna go and see if there's any actual improvements here. Now don't get me wrong, there's been some other videos out here on the software update, but I haven't had a chance to play with it yet. So here's what we're on. Rise. This is the 2023.7.10 update, or if you're a full soft drive beta driver, 11.4.2. And there's always a whole bunch of fancy stuff written down in here, but what I'm going to be looking at today is in this very first part, it says improved control through turns and smoothness in general. That's a big order, smoothness in general. By improving geometry, curvature, position type, and topography of lanes, lines, road edges, road edges, and restricted spaces. So here's my plan today. We're gonna go down from my neighborhood into this kind of sketchy, crazy road that I've tested these things on before that's super curvy, not impossible, but it's pretty tight and pretty challenging and there's very little road lines. It's gonna have to be able to identify the road edges and things like that. So we're gonna start off in a neighborhood, go into kind of a main arterial, navigate some traffic, street lights, other cars, pedestrians, and work our way down to this rural road and we'll end the video there. So let's get going. All right, let's put it into full self drive and watch this happen. Again, I'm watching for smoothness, baby. I wanna see some smoothness. So we got our screen up here recording. We're watching on the GoPro, hopefully it doesn't overheat on us. We just did that nice, uh, what do you call that thing? Slow down for that bump back there. Why are we slowing down right here though? That's a little bit different than normal coming out of here. That, that we're slowing down again right here for some reason. It's not used to doing that. But here's the, one of the first tests that we always do with any new update is how does it handle this right turn at the light? For a very long time, it would simply turn into the bus lane that is right to the right here rather than stay in its own lane. So we'll be seeing what it actually does here. So we're gonna creep forward. That actually did that fairly quickly. And is it gonna go here? There's a little bit of a gap, we're just gonna wait. Okay, don't go. Okay, it's thinking about it. It's thinking about it. After this next car, it should go. It should go right now. Go, go, go. That was actually pretty impressive. Um, so it, it was a little hesitant and it was kind of hard because the car was actually looking, had to look back at a pretty steep angle to see those cars coming and it ended up not going until it was just about exactly the right time and it didn't turn into the bus lane. So that was fantastic. So definitely got to give it a check mark for that challenge. Uh, so that was good. So one, one plus so far. So we're going to be getting over here. It looks like into the right lane. Why are we changing lanes? Um, that's, that's a little interesting. So blinker there, change lanes at that lane. I guess that's fine. The car can decide to go there if it wants to. But uh, okay, so the Jeep cut in front of us there. So a little bit of slowing there as well. Now this is good though. I mean, it's not being, a like it is doing more moving than normal, but it's not being aggressive about it. It's not jerky. It, it's so far, it does feel like it is a little smoother, but it's, it's just, it's hard because on one hand, the movements are smooth, but so far on this drive, which I've done probably a hundred times on camera, is is like is doing moves that I never did before. Before we just kind of drive. So like, is it better to do more moves but do them more smooth, or to not have as many movements while driving, such as changing lanes unnecessarily, such as being in the right lane versus the left lane here? Okay, here turns the light green, so this should be okay. So this is good. So as soon as the car in front of us started going, we started going. Um, if you see me reach up and touch the scroll wheel right here on my steering wheel, that's because of what we call the, uh, well, it's basically like it needs me to put torque on the wheel to let them know that I'm here. Um, as of right now, you still must touch the wheel every 30 seconds or so to let the car know you're paying attention. We can't as of yet just use the camera up here above the rear view um, mirror. I also want to point out that right there where that car turned really quick um, from being in front of me over into the parking lot that the car only hesitated barely. One of the kind of issues I've had with this in the past was, and look at how far away we're picking up that person, showing slowing down marks, that's really good. Um, one of the issues I've had with it in the past is when someone would turn out of your lane, it, the car would be like 10, 15 feet out of your lane before they would start accelerating again. And it just was kind of awkward for people behind, but that was actually pretty quick. So what's gonna happen here is that this lane that I'm in is gonna have to merge to the left. And so far on every drive I've done on Full South Drive, I've never been put in this right lane. So I'll be curious to see here what the Tesla decides to do. If it's gonna stay in this far right lane, or if it's going, you know, or to the last second, and then cut in just thinking that the lanes are merging, or if it's gonna identify that this lane ends and actually put on the blinker and turn into the left turn lane. I suspect 
that it's going to just sort of go until it realizes there's no more lane anymore, then hit the brakes hard, try to figure out what it's supposed to do. Um, Cause this is not something that has been very good yet in my experience. So here we go, let's see. We have the speed limit set at 37 and the 35 here. So right lane ends, get over, and we have room there, but see, look at the car is gonna try to almost pass this guy here. Not quite, He, the guy accelerated pretty hard, but you can see here that the car is gonna just treat it as two lanes that came together. Uh, rather than it being, you know, an actual get over, put your blinker on and get over type of situation, which is what it should have done there. So we're going five over right now. I don't ever, uh, especially not on camera, <laughs> go more than that. We're actually heading into school zone right here too. School's not on or anything. Um, this light right here though, this school light, when it flashes, you can see it showed up on the screen there as blue as being identified. It can be kind of dicey. It can make the car slow down and do some weird things, um, but it didn't do anything this time, so that's nice. So the speed will jump up to 45 here, or it should here in just a minute as soon as we pass this, and then the people behind me will stop being so mad at me. There we go, 50, 47, we'll get that up there. And um, so what I'm doing right here on the right scroll wheel is no matter what speed you're at, whether you're one, like 41 or 44, even or 43, if you just do a quick flick like that, that puts it up to the next five. So I went from 40 to 45, but if I was at 43, it would still go to 45. It doesn't go up by five each time, it just rounds to the nearest five. And you can control in all your settings, obviously, how you want your speed to automatically bump up. I kind of just do it manually, but it's set to 5% increase right now for whatever speed it's on, or that speed limit happens to be at the time. Here we got a truck that needs to get in. Looks like the car in front of us is gonna let them in. We're gonna slow down, nice and smoothly slow down. Not jerky at all. When we saw those cars breaking, that, that felt pretty good. And you know, I've noticed very minimal uh, kind of ping-ponging in the road lines. Sometimes after new updates, I noticed that a difference there where it can start bouncing around a lot more than you know, maybe you would normally do in a car. And, it, and the thing is to remember too, like we're judging this based off of like perfection. So what are we gonna do, left or right lane? We're going to the right lane. So it seems to be just picking the right lane every time here, which I'm okay with. I, I have no problem with that. Um, but after these new updates, you know, we, we do, we look at this like, it, it perfect would mean dead center in the lane no matter what. And you know, when you're driving, you obviously don't do it like that. But the difference is when you're driving, your hand is on the wheel, you're controlling it so you don't feel the slight movement in and around the lane lines like like you do when the car is doing it itself, you know? And uh, so you definitely feel yourself scrutinizing the car, even though it's probably driving better than you would be driving in a different situation, you know, if you happen to be behind the wheel, which is just kind of an interesting concept. Now right here, um, the car is always put on its blinker every time, um, for whatever, even if I'm not turning right, it just puts on the blinker right here. Uh, so it's not doing it now, so I would say that's another improvement. So, And that's actually been the case on this entire strip down here is usually there is a lot of blink, just random blinkers going on um, down this one road for whatever reason. But today it has not done that, so I'd have to say that's, a, that's another a slight improvement that I've seen. More of an annoyance been removed, I guess you'd say. Now this, this intersection used to be a horrible one for full south drive in its early days. You can see it handles it no problem. It used to jump left and right in the middle of the intersection and that was really sketchy. So we're on the right lane right here and again the lane I'm in is going to have to merge to the left at the end of this and we know how that's going to perform um, because we just saw what it did before. It's going to treat it like a single lane just sort of merging together, two lanes merging together rather than turning on the blinker to get over. There's a Model Y in front of us here. We'll see, hopefully it doesn't change lanes in this intersection, which it does sometimes, which is what that car, the Model Y did in front of us. So we'll see what it's doing here. The car, there's a car beside me here that is waiting to see what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm kind of pressing on the accelerator a little bit right here because these guys are really crowded. I mean, nobody, by the way, nobody around here drives the speed limit. Like I got people all over me behind me right now uh, because I'm driving only five over. Um, if I were to pull out the camera behind me, uh, you guys not really show it that well right there. But that's the thing when you're when you're driving, it's kind of weird because on um, full south drive because you're definitely uh, going slower than the traffic around you, which you can you can adjust it. But you know I don't exactly drive 10 over the speed limit ever. I've actually never in my life got a speeding ticket, believe it or not. Um, 
some of you on my channel will be questioning that, but that's where it is. So guys, we're almost there. So we're gonna go down this hill right now. So far, it's been great. Zero disengagements. It's not been a complicated drive. Just sort of driving down a main arterial, some lights, some people. Uh, but here's where, where we're gonna be really watching where it says the smoothness of the road lines. And, I, and I'm gonna be able to judge this because we've done this the last few updates. So here we go, getting over to the right turn lane. That's a fantastic job there, nice and smooth. And then we're gonna be taking a pretty sharp right right here. And woo, okay, swerving a little bit there, okay. Nice, that's okay. So it's all this car turning in front of us here, this really slow turning car, and it did a great job. Okay, it's, is it gonna follow it over? See that, it almost wanted to follow that car over because it was tracing it. Well, we're cutting this corner extremely sharp, way over the road lines. I didn't like that. That wasn't very good. That wasn't very good. It didn't do that last time either. Um, well, that's interesting. Well, I guess we're going to go down and we're just going to see how this road, how it handles down this road here. So let's go see how this goes and uh, see if we see any changes here. So you can see that there's no fog lines on this road. So on the sides of the road, it is just, um, just the sides. I'm going to give it a little bit of a challenge here too. I'm going to let it go five over the speed limit and and just kind of see how it handles this here. So it's gonna to have to be identifying the side of the roads. We've got clear double yellows in the middle. So it's got a pivot point there to kind of hold on to. And of course we have the guardrails to keep me from flying off the edge into someone's pool or whatever that is down there. So we got that going for us. The only interaction I'm gonna try and do on this whole road here is just tap this volume button here just to satisfy the screen that I'm paying attention. So far though, it's been smooth, kind of swerved away from that car a little bit because the car noticed it was hugging the line, not on the line, but it was closer to the center double with yellows when that car came. It gave a little more space. That was pretty good to see. I like seeing that. So we got a bus stop sign here. I always watch to see what it's gonna do at some of these signs. Sometimes it, it reacts to them, sometimes it doesn't. Usually it doesn't. Again, you know, going over this little small little hill crest where it could do brakes checks a little bit, like it slowed down a little bit there, wasn't too confident, but it didn't give me a, a quick break, just a little break. Stuff like that in the road, big caps, don't, don't, have, don't affect it anymore. Yeah, I mean, look at this, you got blackberry bushes just hovering over the road right there. Um, this has all been fairly smooth, I mean, I think that this has been, um, I would say that I do see some improvements from a, from a smooth standpoint with this type of a drive. I'm starting really small on this, guys. We'll take it from here into the cities next. Um, I just wanna get out and do something with this because I just got it and um, I wanted to experience it. And I love this road because it's, it's kind of a challenge for it and it's gonna get more dicey here in a minute. So here we're going underneath of a bridge and then a sharp turn to the left, sharp curve to the left, the road is I should say. Limiting max speed for road type. Interesting, I have never seen that before. So, come on guys, comments. Have you ever had that pop up before? It limited the max speed speed for the road type. So it identified the road as something not normal and massively slowed it down. Here it goes again. Limiting max speed for road type. Very cool, very cool. It didn't actually change it on my screen. It still says max of 30. But it went ahead and did what was safe. Here's some, um, ooh, some some potholes in the road. The car still the car still doesn't handle those or, or swerve for those. Um, but didn't expect it to there. But that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. So far, it has been incredibly smooth. Again, so any kind we got a sharp corner. Here we've got some trees right on a corner, super sharp. And the yellow lines in the middle are really look at it slowing down to 23 to handle that. Oh my word, that is so good. Very, very impressive. I got no complaints about this drive at all. So here we got a pretty sharp curve to the left again. Here we go, we got a kid right here. Make sure the car slows down nice and safe. Identified the child. Oh, handled that corner. Never one time touching the edges of the road or the double yellow. Absolute spot, absolutely spot on. That was amazing. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. This is, again, this isn't the kind of drive where we're gonna go out and figure out what happens with a bunch of people and crosswalks and you know all these blind lefts and all this other stuff, but that was pretty good. So it made it right to my destination, right to this dead end back here without any disengagements. 
I'm incredibly impressed. Let me know what you guys think about this one down below in the comments. Do you have it already? And uh, what do you love, hate about it? And tell me again about the limiting max speed uh, indicator that I just got or that little warning I got. And let me know if you've seen that. And what you been, what's been your thoughts on this update? And next time, we're going to take this down to downtown Seattle, and we'll see how it improves there. Thanks for watching. See you guys on the next one.